Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Dal RC engine stack. And this stack was possibly one of the best stacks you could possibly purchase with an MPU 6000 gyro. Now why do I say that? Well, previously we have tested the 4 one ESC. We've done this testing with the one motor setup. It tested phenomenal, but I told you it's kind of elusive. Uh, in a way because all of the caps on board would have been active for one motor However, now we have the new testing setup and we were able to test it with four motors and compare it to the Tico 32 and In our previous testing it showed that this would come in second and that's what really happened. This came in second So this is the second best 4-in-1 ESC I've ever tested um, Could be on the planet, but I'm just saying from what I have tested and It does have some noise, but it's not that bad, but now when you connect it with its flight controller the flight controller has a proper 9 volt regulator on board for and a proper 5 volt regulator on board for the camera and for the VTX thus giving you an absolutely phenomenal clean feed which is awesome. However, you need to take something into consideration. If you were to buy this flight controller alone uh, and you plug it in, you're going to find that it won't work. Why? Because it needs two inputs. It needs raw battery voltage and a 5 volt input. Now, personally, I really didn't like that, but to be honest, you're supposed to buy these two together. And when you do, you don't have to worry about nothing. Plus, it keeps the stack super clean, and it only takes 13 millimeters of stack height. Isn't that crazy? Now, some of you were saying in my previous videos, oh no, but the pins will break, the pins will break. Well, you know, the pins might break. You know, that's, that's possible. But what they have done to overcome that is they've added rubber grommets to both the ESC and the flight control. And they do provide you with those. So when you stick them together, you should be good because they, they'll play together about the same uh, hardness on their, uh, what is it called? On their gr grommets here, rubber grommets. So in that perspective, it's also very nice. However, it also, the ESC comes with a low ESR capacitor, which I highly recommend you add. And not the fact that it really needs it. It would just do an absolutely amazing job for your quadcopter. Uh, it'll reduce some of, the, some of the voltage spikes and prevent, yes, prevent OSDs burning. Because lately, a lot of flight controllers' OSDs are burning. And the reason for that is, is that OSDs are sensitive. And if they don't have some kind of protection layer around them, they will burn. So it happened recently to a couple well-known flight controllers and um, yeah, the, the, just from voltage spikes, it'll seep right through, just burn that chip. Next thing you know, you have a black screen. So to avoid that, I'm not saying this has that issue. This is the filtration on this EAC is phenomenal, but just add it just in case. Maybe you hit a, I don't know, you hit a tree and then somehow the vo huge voltage just jump back into it and just basically burnt your OSD. So you, you really don't want that. Just, you know, it comes with low ESR capacitor, just stick it on there. Now, as I know, Dal RC engine Dal RC is working on a new ESC which takes 6S. Previously, I made a mistake saying this takes 6S, but if you put a 6S, you, you'll blow it out. I think it's just because the caps cannot handle that. I don't know if it's the MOSFETs here, but something in here won't be able to handle it. So take that into consideration. This is also a BLHeli 32 ESC, but no telemetry is available. But I, I don't even use telemetry anyways. When you enable telemetry, you just see one motor. You don't know what motor you're using, unless I'm doing it wrong. Um, but yeah, it's just one motor that tells you you don't even know which motor you're actually looking at which I really don't like I thought I would see one in each corner like one there one there one there one there I never that never happens anyways So overall the stack is a very attractive purchase to be honest one thing it keeps your overall quad absolutely clean I've already built the ultimate v2 freestyle quad with this setup. I still haven't even flown it yet I've just been hit with thunderstorms and actually gotten a little bit busy with testing these ESCs. So I'm going to try to be taking that out next week. And uh, I'll come in with the real-world testing of the flight controller. However, I have tested the engine in real-world testing and it's on my favorite quad. So uh, this I could vouch for. But the complete stack currently in the, in the lab, in this testing setup, it's been performing phenomenally. And uh, at towards the end of the video, I'll actually show you the uh, FPV video feed with it running on our normal setups with... I'm going to show you Dell RC engine with the Maytech, which has no regulator for the VTX. And I'm going to show it to you against the stack here with the regulator for the VTX. So you kind of get an idea of how much of a difference this makes for your overall FPV video feed. And... Um, and I think that's it, guys. So overall, I, I really do believe, and I truly believe with my heart, but I haven't done any real-world testing just yet. I got a lot of people tell, emailing me saying they have, uh, and they, they love it. And um, 
So we're just going to have to wait and see about that. But overall, I really truly believe that this is going to be a very good stack, especially for new people or just people just, you know, just you just stick that right in. You're good to go. That's it. You know, it cuts down well, soldering, especially if you don't know how to solder. The pads here are big. These are pretty close, but you don't have to solder many wires to this camera VTX receiver and you're good to go on this board here and obviously the motors the motors have huge pads so uh it, you, you just you, it's all right if you don't know how to solder you, you'll get it it'll be a little bit easier than smaller pads for you and i think that's it guys so i'm gonna leave you with the fpv video feeds from the dal rc engine with the matek and with the versus the stack here so you can kind of get a visual representation of what's really going on with this nine volt regular what it's really doing to the fpv video feed and that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it Please consider joining my Patreon, help support this channel, keep this channel going, and I will see you next time. See you guys, take care.